This story is about plumbing and specifically the replacement of a house hydrant. The house hydrant has been leaking since Kofi and Adua bought the 18. It was in bad shape like American politics. Since the pipe is soldered on, removing the hydrant will result in a twisted and broken pipe. A broken pipe is a monster of a leak. The best way to repair the pipe is to replace the internal components. Kofi began by identifying the manufacturer of the pipe using marks on the hydrant. The hydrant looks alike, but the internals are very different. The details are listed in the description. It turns out there are not many manufacturers of house hydrants. From the beginning, there was trouble with the disassembly. The thread is a left thread, and removal requires an anti-clockwise turn. The pipe is so old, the plastic worn down and fused with the pipe. No matter direction, the nut would not budge. Kofi destroyed and removed the nut, but the threads on the pipe were damaged unknown to Kofi. Upon a closer look of the kit, Kofi realized these parts would not function. The big box is not the place to go for these parts. The blunder on the parts led to desperation. Like a ruffling in the woods, the sound coming closer and closer. Kofi wanted this maintenance over and the hydrant put back in service. These delays were definitely a test of patience for a staunch DIYer. As you'll see later on, it leads to risk taking, which did not end well. The stem was easy to remove and is in excellent working condition. The stem did not need to be replaced, but since everything else was being replaced, why not? The vacuum breaker was covered with tape and was leaking heavily. It has now been replaced easy peasy. At this point, Kofi had a problem replacing the knob. The pipe thread is damaged. Kofi tried to repair it twice, but obtaining the correct tap could not be done by specifications. Kofi was determined to get the repair done and realized help was needed. And in a last ditch attempt at the repair, Kofi took a chance. Kofi did the unthinkable and tried to remove the hydrant and, you guessed it, the copper pipe twisted off, looking something like a particular emoji. Now there's a leak, and the problem is Kofi does not have tools to work on copper pipes, so, a plumber is called. An emergency plumber, at that. Pricey. Installing a new silcock is ruled out because of the risk and difficulty of having a precise install. That is to say, the silcock will probably sit too far from the wall. The solution to this problem was to install a hose bib connected with a PEX pipe to the interior copper pipe. A simple repair. The hose bib now sits tight to the wall, unlike the silcock which was flopping around. Kofi has not let this experience go. Money has been spent on the internal parts and all that stands in his way of a functional pipe is a correct tap. One day, Kofi will revisit this pipe. With the help of Chuck, an emergency plumber, the day is one.